to the beginning, with the memory of the past loop already fading fast. But while it lingers, I know there's hope. We're not doomed to repeat our failures in an eternal loop. This is a spiral. A fictional poet once said, beyond the shadow you settle for, there is a miracle illuminated. I will not settle for a shadow. I'll find the miracle through the night. It's not just victims and monsters. I see now there are heroes as well. We can find our way through the darkness. We will break through the surface. We will emerge into the light. For those of you just joining us, this is uh, Patrick Stewart. He got, he's got thrown out of the lake. This is him. And that's us about to get up on him.
Hey, kiddo. How are you? I'm good, Mom. How are you? This trip might take a little longer than I thought. I'm sorry I've been gone so much lately, Logan. Oh my god, Mom. It's not your fault people get all murdery. What happened? Just... work stuff. Right. Well, Dad and I are just watching the latest episode of Night Springs here. Mom, it's so good. No spoilers! I'll let you get back to the show. You were supposed to wait and watch with me. I love you both. This is what happens when you go on work trips, Mom. Love you too. And say hi to Casey. Tell him to stop brooding so much. Logan! I will. Bye, kiddo. Uh, fun Logan fact, thinks if you you're listening, cheering up. the guy on the left <laughs> Snarky kid. is actually where she gets that the from. main writer um, for this game and all of um, Remedy Games. His name's Sam Lake, or not his, it's not his actual last name, but that's what he goes by. It can't be a coincidence that another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Feels like the killer's leaving us a message. Also, he was Max Payne. I'm glad you're on this case with me, Anderson. It's right up your alley. You should take lead. Think of me as the backup. Okay. Any words of advice? Nothing that would cheer anyone up. Also, a fun fact, that's not actually his voice, but his real voice does come into play later. Here we are. Cauldron Lake. Just here to give you all the info, you know what I mean? Time to get to work. I'll be sure to spread these little tidbits in uh, throughout the the playthrough for all my viewers out there. A deputy was supposed to be here to show us to the crime scene. There's the car, so where's the deputy? <laughs> You're the one who wanted to switch. I think I hear someone. I'm not walking all the way. Hey, over here. Hey there. Agent Casey, right? Sheriff Breaker said you'd be coming by to take over the case. You're half right. Anderson? Saga Anderson. I'll be leading this case. Seems you already know my partner, Alex Casey. Shoot. Sorry about that, ma'am. I'm Deputy Mulligan. I just figured that, you know, that, uh... Federal agents right here, Thornton. My partner, Thornton, <laughs> down at the crime scene. He's not what you call the sharpest axe in the shed. Right here? What do you mean? Are they with you? Oh, shit. They didn't hear me, did they? Were there any witnesses? Yeah, a couple out of towners. I wonder what they were doing sneaking around the woods at night. Not that we have anything against city folk, cried Thornton. But don't worry. Sheriff Breaker took him back to town a while ago. What can you tell us about the crime scene? Tell him about the heart. I was getting to that, Thornton. <laughs> well, we reckon there are some uh, organs that are currently outside the victim's person when they should be but you know, inside. I want to see the body. How do we get there? Oh, sure, that's real simple. Just through the hole in the fence, down the hill towards the lake, around the old convenience store. You can't miss it. Everything's been closed since the area was fenced off. The store, the campground, all of it. Hey, Mulligan, tell him I'm here, Winky. I'll show him around. They got it, Thornton. Before we get to the crime scene, there's time to review the facts of the case so far. The mine place. My version like of the Sherlock mine palace Holmes. technique. To sift through clues and work the case. Building the mine place again for each case. Using each field office as a model in my head. The facts are on the board. 
everything we know about the previous murders. Worth taking another look. I see you're already hard at work, Anderson. Close to cracking it. We're just getting started. Let's head down the hill to the crime scene. Hey, Casey. You putting me in charge. Why now? Look, Anderson, you're a better detective than I am. You've cracked cases that had the rest of us baffled. I don't want to slow you down. Are you thinking of retiring? You know what happens to cops who say this is their last case. Mm -hmm. Real funny, Anderson. Fucking nature. Gives me a headache. There's too much sky. I'll be back in a second. Roger. I will say, this is pretty much exactly what Washington looks like. Like, if anything, it's underselling it. So, you like the way this looks. Is that a kid's lunchbox? An Alex Casey movie lunchbox. Casey hates the endless jokes about coincidentally having the same name as a fake detective. <sighs> he hates those cheesy crime books, but he really hates the movies. Which is actually really funny because Good to see you Casey, Anderson, this guy, Sam Lake, place. who this character Not a bad is place to get murdered. based off of. Hmm. If His face nature is your thing is in damn actual video games I like as the rain. a detective the only thing named Max Payne. that feels like home you think the local law had the sense to put up a tarp hmm. if they did next coffee's on me oh whoa, holy shit I know wow Can I make it, Mulligan? I think I saw something. It'll only take a minute. I'll wait here. Deputy Thornton, I take it. That's me, at your service. Ready to get this case solved. Now the body's behind the store. Come on, I'll show you. So, FBI, huh? That's so cool. Hunting down psycho serial killers and shootouts with the mob. You forgot the UFO cover-ups. What? Those are real? You guys hiring? Thornton, he's joking. His body, shall we? Here's Patrick again. We found him on the table. Now he didn't touch nothing, you know, procedures and stuff. Thanks, Deputy. No tarp. You owe me a coffee. Okay. Let's start by examining our guest of honor. Does this fit the MO of the previous murders? Body is positioned on the table. Ritualistic. Another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Coincidence? Finding a Casey movie lunchbox out here can't be a coincidence. Another message? Step one, examine the corpse.
Wanna start by inspecting the body, Anderson? The killer left the heart right next to the body. Bruising on the wrist from the cargo straps holding him down. Inside stab wound. Chest cut open. Heart removed. Heart removed from chest, strapped by the wrists. Definitely matches the previous murders. But this time the heart and the straps were left behind. More clues to work with. This makes four murders that we know about. Who is our victim? Who killed him? Need to find more clues. Large amount of blood on the table. The victim died here. Multiple people were here. Multiple killers? Someone left in a hurry. Knocked the tripod over. Was it for a camera? Someone was drinking beer. They spent time here. Waiting. Prince, indicating multiple killers. Quite the party. A creepy twig sculpture? Wonder what's inside. I should take a look around for a way to open this thing. I'll look around. See you in a bit. Take your time. Up and down, wait, no, no. Up and down, touching tips, side to side. Oops. Wait, I'm so confused. Did I not do the touching tips? Up and down, touching tips, side to side. Wash hands, take chicken out of the freezer. Huh. Am I stupid? Wash hands up and down. I see touching tips top to bottom. Good 
good to see you still in one piece, Anderson. The forest can be a dangerous place. Any idea who the victim is? Oh, I sure do. His name is Nightingale. He was FBI. He came to town about 13 years ago. Now, I haven't heard a word about him since. Well, until now. Nightingale? Robert Nightingale? Oh, yes. You probably knew him. Brothers in arms. Oh, and sisters. Robert Nightingale? Just so you know, in the original Alan Wake, Robert Nightingale believes that Alan Wake is, like, r responsible for um, some murders, I believe, which is unwarranted. Like, he wasn't, but it's really, um, he, like, becomes obsessed with Alan Wake and then comes to the town where he is and starts, like, assaulting him and starts, like, accosting him. Like, he gets suspended from the force because he just can't let it go. Um, and comes to town and then gets taken over by the darkness and thrown into the lake. And then now he's back 13 years later. Just so you know. Oh, yeah. Okay. So you knew our victim? Well, I didn't recognize him in his current state. But yeah, I ran into him a few times at Quantico. Never worked any cases together. After his partner got killed in the field, he went off the deep end. Got the boot pretty quick after that. So what happened to Nightingale after the Bureau let him go? I only know the rumors. Depression led to booze, booze led to paranoia. He got some wild ideas in his head, chased ghosts until he fell off the map. Guess he ended up here. I bet there's more to that story. But no happy ending. Nightingale went missing 13 years ago, 2010. The same as all the other victims. Certainly fits the pattern. Makes me wonder what was going on that year. Probably something this town wants to forget. Uh, and that is the year that Alan Wake came out. So this... I think that's everything. Chronologically. Mm-hmm. Anything the, clicking yet? Not the, sure. The day this game came Need out... think about it. ...is literally the day that these two showed up um, to town. So it's like, I think it's September 9th or 12th. Or, I don't remember, but essentially it is... And it has been exactly 13 years, like, to the day I had to review in the game clues. and in real life that Alan Wake disappeared. Robert Nightingale, ex-FBI, came to Bright Falls 13 years ago. They planned for the murder to happen here. Passing the time with equipment ready. They were waiting for him. But why Nightingale? He's been missing for 13 years. Why here? Why now? Profiling. Get into the subject's head. See what they saw. Feel what they felt. Use whatever I know about them to guide my intuition to a revelation. Piece it together. Agent Nightingale has been MIA for 13 years. How did he end up here? Up from the lake that's not a lake. It's dark. He was there too. You are not allowed in the lake until he says otherwise. Robert Nightingale came from the lake before his murder. Nightingale was chosen as the victim. Why? Click the switch. It goes click. Lights are off. At somebody's home. So
somebody's home. This wasn't some random act of violence. This was a ritual. A nightingale, a component. They didn't see him as a person. More like a container for something. The lake is connected to Nightingale somehow. Casey, let's take a look down by the lake. Lead the way. Sounds good. Uh, this way, right? Right. Well, okay. Well, I'll just, uh, I'll just wait here. If you're confused... This one of your hunches, Anderson? Did something happen at the lake? I think Nightingale came up from that direction. From the lake. Probably looking for shelter. Safety. They were waiting for him. When you're ready, I'd love to hear what you put together so far. Sure. It's not that complicated. Nightingale was out in the woods alone at night, possibly nude. The killers knew he was here, ambushed him, dragged him to the campgrounds, strapped him to the table, cut his heart out. But then they were interrupted by those witnesses, the bookers. The job is unfinished. That seems pretty complicated to me. What was this guy doing skinny dipping at this time of year? Haven't figured that part out yet. Mm-hmm. Lots of questions. Lots of answers for us to find. Yeah, if you're- I'm if gonna you're... go check something out. Be Conf right back. Got it. If you're confused, it is explained how she can do that. Like, she's- it's not just like, yep, she can do that. I mean, it is right now. But, um... It- it does get explained. Because when I was playing for the first time, I was like, what the fuck? Like, how does she... What? But, um, yeah, no, you... It will... It'll be explained. Oh shit, you line bins. Wow. They're everywhere. Oh, hello. A lunchbox again. Who's leaving these out here? Hmm. I wonder what that's all about. You always sound so angry. I didn't know trees got that big. Gives me the creeps. You need to get out more. It is kind of tracks. Barefoot. Nightingales? They come out from under the boulder. It makes no sense. There's a piece of paper on the ground. Did I... Uh, okay. A page full of texts on one side. Not a printout. Written with a typewriter. Old school. Lines scratched out and edits added with a pen. Mm-hmm. Like a manuscript. Page of a story. Hmm. Killer left a message. It's for us. The text is about us. The victim was one of their own. FBI Special Agent Robert Nightingale. And then there was the page they found. The first step down into terrifying depths. Reading, Reading the, the words. words. These, These words, words felt, like a message. felt like a message. Someone knew they were here. Someone playing a game with them. An invitation. How, How could they, they not accept? accept even, even if they, they knew, knew it would end up hurting them. them. Someone's been watching us. Playing a sick game with us. You were right. 
This is right up my alley. A witch with no heart. A strange echo of Al murder. Hmm. I think he came from the lake, but his tracks make no sense. The victim was one of their own. FBI Special Agent Robert Nightingale, gone missing here 13 years ago. Now he had suddenly turned up, only to be murdered in a brutal ritual on the very day of their arrival. And then there was the page. This page, the first page that they had found, not the last, the first step down into terrifying depths, secret truths trembling beyond the threshold. Reading the words, these words, felt like a message. Was a message. Someone knew they were here, what they were doing. Someone playing a game with them, leading them on. An invitation. How could they not accept? The sheer audacity of this impossible mystery presented to them, even if they knew it would end up hurting them. We found a page in the woods. A story about these events. What is Nightingale's role in this? I carry his words close to my chest now. Inside. The awful truth. You must dig it out. Something was put inside him, in his chest. I must find out what. Found all I can here. Time to properly examine the body. See what I can find inside. Casey, I think something's been put inside Nightingale's body. Let's tell the deputies to get the body to the town morgue. Okay. Did you know this entire area is inside a caldera? This whole mountain used to be an active volcano. Imagine the force it took to carve this crater out of the Earth. Calderas are pretty rare, so be sure to take it in. So, essentially, we're standing in the gaping maw of hell. You got it. Hey, I used to love geology when Good. I was in school. I helped Logan build a great baking soda volcano for her science fair. Cheating on a science fair? That's almost a crime, Anderson. I'm not gonna say no to quality time with a volcano. I mean, my daughter. <laughs> I hope you didn't get stuck in any of those big puddles. Crazy flooding down there, huh? Just like I said. Deputy, I want the body taken back to town for a proper examination ASAP. Well, sure. But the coroner won't be back in town for another week after Deerfest. Not a problem. I'll do it myself. Oh, and Sheriff Breaker called to say he's got the bookers at the Oh Dear Diner in town. Oh, and I've got a key to the gate. It's a shortcut back to the parking lot just up the hill. Thank you. Oh, oh I thought he gave it to me. Thank you. Thanks. Bye. Let's get the car. Drive to Bright Falls and talk to these witnesses, the bookers. At the diner, right? I, I could use a cup of coffee. Let's try that shortcut the deputy mentioned. Sound a good. damn fine. Seems like cup a nice town so far. Murders aside, pretty woods. Cute lodge we got set up in. We should go for a hike if we get a chance. Now you're just being mean, Anderson. 
Deputies aren't exactly up to the task, but hopefully the sheriff will be more helpful. Not a surprise about the deputies. Doubt they see much stuff this gruesome. So, this right here, I... So, there's a game called Control, which I there's highly recommend. There's another lunchbox. Um, either watching a playthrough of, or having like playing it yourself it's a super good game but basically it's made by remedy and the first time i was playing this game i was like walking by i was like what you know what, what is this i wanted to go inside and it says it says property of the fbc and i was like oh that's got <gasps> no way so basically the fbc is the federal bureau Welcome of back, control Anderson. which is what that game is all about and i was like wow what a nice little nod um, to that game, like Can't so fit cool. the clues all together yet. But uh, heart removed. Uh, it's a little more tripod, than a nod. So tracks leading to a dead end. You'll see. A tripod for a camera to record a snuff film. But Maybe. believe me, it's exciting. And why take out his heart just to throw it away? Stuffed in something for us to find. What's over here? I think I saw something. It'll only take a minute. I'll wait here. I actually do not think I found that the first time I played through. Not that it's incredibly important, but still. It's a rule I live by in video games. Whatever direction I'm supposed to go, I'm gonna go the opposite. Oh, am I stuck? Alright. Here we are. There we are. Let's drive back to town and meet the sheriff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't get that manuscript page out of my head. I've never seen killers reach out so directly before. Damn impressive work so far. With your technique, these hunches were moving fast. I wasn't sure about taking a case so far from home, but I'm thrilled to be here for this mystery. Need to swing by the lodge to get anything from the field office? No, I'm all set. I'll park there anyway. I want to walk to the diner, get a feel for the town. <laughs> she said, you want to stop here? He said, no. She said, well, oh, I'm doing it anyway. The diner's just up the waterfront. Shouldn't keep the sheriff and our witnesses waiting. I smell coffee. Hey! What? Just how much coffee have you had today, Charlie? <laughs> <laughs> Don't know, just care. <laughs> Not to toot my own horn, but I am pretty darn sure my... <laughs> I mean, our float will be the bell of the ball at this year's Deer Fest. Just a few more days. It's a nice looking float for sure. This is my oh, first Deer Fest, dear. so I don't know what to expect. You this know, is this is like, honestly, pretty accurate to. Because I've been in a couple small towns in Washington, especially like the FBI. where Forks is supposed Welcome to be. To Bright Falls. And um, nice to have you. this is pretty goddamn accurate. The mountains, well, the trees. And it's kind of like run down. Um, so this is, I mean, pretty accurate. I'm going to go check something out. Be right back. Got it. He didn't even, how did, whatever. Nice to meet you, Sheriff. I'm set for coffee. You know, I wouldn't say no to another. I'm Agent Saga Anderson. This is Agent Alex Casey. Tim Breaker. And let me just say, I'm happy you two are here. 
Frankly, we could use the help. Your deputies said you had a couple of witnesses here. They made them sound like suspects. Mulligan and Thornton are still on about that? No, no, the bookers don't strike me as the murdering type, but you can decide for yourselves. They're just inside having coffee and pie to calm their nerves. I'll see what they have to say. Casey, you compare notes with the sheriff. Take your time. And in case you're wondering, yes, we've looked through the that case is files Sean you Ashmore. Over, sheriff. And, you had many and if you're wondering, who's Sean Ashmore? Go missing, it's Iceman sure. from X Men. But it's slowed down ever since Calvin Light was passed off. You may guess. Excuse me. I'm Agent Saga Anderson. Are you the Bookers? That's us. I'm Tammy, and he's Ed. Hello, officer. Just Saga is fine, Ed. So, are we being charged with anything? Because if not, we'd love to get back to our hotel and decompress after what we saw. Take a bath, scream into pillows, that kind of thing. We're not charging you. I just have a few questions. Nothing to stress about, okay? What were you doing at Colgin late last night? I'm a writer. True crime. We're here from New York, doing some research on a famous novelist, Alan Wake, who went missing here. I was down at the lake, getting some details. Perfectly legal. So what did you see in the woods? This naked dude came out of the lake, and he was acting crazy, shouting weird shit at us. He must have been on something. Unless skinny dipping at dawn is a thing around here. Then we heard shooting. We ran into these psychos in deer masks. They were tearing into the naked guy with knives, like some kind of satanic cult. And then we bolted and called the cops. What makes you say it was a cult? <laughs> the masks and knives aren't enough. Man, they were shouting, cult of the tree, the cult of the tree, cult of the tree. Oh, and then we found a... The whole thing was terrifying. That's all. Hello? We're dealing with an organized group of... The cult of the tree is behind these murders. This case just became much more complicated. I'll need to start a new file. But it's my first cult case. Exciting. I need to know more about the cult of the tree if I'm going to shut them down. These stashes could contain clues about the cult. Better keep an eye out for more. Oh, hello. Oops. The cult of the tree. What aren't the bookers telling me? I found their necklace. The symbol is two triangles. The cult wants their spruce tree bag, Tammy. Finder's keeper is Ed. My publisher will want this on the cover. Tammy found something. A necklace belonging to one of the cultists. The bookers were at Colton Freaking Lake. Freaking Tammy. Why? The fence was built to hide what's there. They say the rider fell in the lake. Private party. No trespassing. 
My book has questions. Past the bolt cutters. They broke in for the sake of Tammy's book. Nothing to do with a the murder. They were telling the truth. So you found something there, right? A necklace these cultists may have dropped. Okay. Wow. How did you put that together? It's evidence. You need to hand it over. Okay. Okay. Told you not to keep that thing, Timmy. Thanks. This could prove to be helpful. Do me a favor. Stick around town for now in case we have any more questions. <laughs> like we'd even dream of missing dear Fest. Oh, God. Saga! Saga Anderson. As I live and breathe. We'd never see you back here after that awful, awful thing happened to your baby girl. How are you? Um, I'm sorry. Who are you? I don't know what you're talking about. It's me, silly. Rose. You know me. I don't think I do. And what horrible thing happened to my baby girl? She drowned. Your daughter? That's so weird, you don't remember. How do you know I have a daughter? Oh, I know what this is. You're blocking out your traumatic memories. Happens on TV all the time. No. You're mistaking me for someone else. If you say so. Also, fun fact, so, I wonder, the original Alan Wake game starts with you going to the diner, and you run in, dude, I swear there's something, there's... Hey there, Mr. Deer. You remind me of a dream I had. You can pet so many heads, deer heads in this game, so many, and I'm like, surely there's a reason. Mm -hmm. There's, there's not, but, mm -hmm. um... The original Alan Wake starts with you going to this diner and saying, okay, I gotta go to the bathroom. I gotta take a shit, pulling a James. And then you go back here. <gasps> oh my god. Can't open this with my bare hands. Well, I don't know why I never thought to come back here the first time, but you run into an old lady back here and she's the the, like, it's hard to explain, but she's like the the witch, whatever, of the of Cauldron Lake. Like you, you kind of saw her earlier on the. Oh, there's no water in here. Uh, you kind of saw her earlier on the like the, the the bulletin board thing at the at the down at the lake, and she's like just staring at you as Alan Wake, and you're like, what the fuck, like what? And I can't force it open. And so when you come back out, your wife is just gone. And that's how the game starts. Like, you have like a small little intro thing, but... A cult yeah. murdering a man is pretty extreme. Why didn't you tell the police what you saw? We did. We told those two idiot deputies they didn't listen. And they wanted to throw Ed and I in jail for that murder. You know, Bright Falls is just Alabama with bigger trees. This is my case now, and no one is throwing you in jail. If you need anything else, just come to me. Got it. Thank it's kind. Of, it's kind of true too. Um, in Washington, like obviously the bigger cities are liberal and like not All overtly set. racist. But... My guys have Nightingale at the morgue. If you're ready to go, take a look. Let's go. But uh, the smaller Locacy. cities. I got a lead. Yeah, I, I, I do. Looks think. like we're dealing with a cult. Small town the mentality. The cult of the tree. A murder cult. Hello, lady. Who just does this? Nobody just does this. Who else to keep this city clean Morning, if Sheriff. not I? Like what the fuck? Guests. Who else to protect its uh, citizens from the dangers head. of unsanitary yeah, conditions? Real important guests. 
Deerfest. Always draws a crowd, right? <laughs> Too true. More the merrier. Have a good one, Sheriff. Alan Wake. A pretty nice day to be working outside. I don't envy the guys stuck on death duty. You know, I never really came up here either. Oh. Come on, Saga. Because I can't. <laughs> Time to get back to work. Oh, that's good to know. I would have been lost up there forever. So anyway, Sean Ashmore is in this game. That's him right there. Uh, but, separate fun fact, he's in another Remedy game called Quantum Break, and they're all related. So I saw him here, and I was like, what the fuck? Like, uh, If they're all related, what's he doing here? And then, hey boss, you'll see. Corpse is downstairs ready to go. But, yep. in like the my morgue, question, all prep. I'd like to take answered. a closer look as soon as possible. But Lead the way, something Sheriff. happens, and I'm like, oh, okay, well, at least it's not like. Yep, he's well, this here. This is the Bright Falls Sheriff Station. Anything you need, just uh, let us know. We appreciate the support, Sheriff. This closet will be important. And it might sound like I'm joking, but I'm not. Agent? Sup? I'm taking over this meeting. That is all. As you know, the investigation is being taken over by the federal agents. See? Sheriff Those Baker there. wants us to cooperate. I'm a tourist, fully. and it appears that I'm lost in the woods. Serious, Nelson. You've only had a tour guide, also. Bear season. <laughs> oh no, a bear. <laughs> Help. Did somebody call for a tour guide? Oh, wow. Koskala Brothers Adventure Tours. Unforgettable tour experiences at affordable prices. That's right. I'm Ilmo Koskala, voted best coffee roaster slash tour guide by Coffee World Magazine. And I'm here to give you the tour of a lifetime. But Ilmo, I've heard the government has seized and restricted access to many local nature attractions. That is true, Yanko. Many local attractions have yeah, recently cool. become fenced off by the government. And that's why, at Koskala Brothers Adventure Tours, we say, Fuck the government! <laughs> we have both cutters. Oh, wow. You think of everything. And we'll take you anywhere! Hiking through the scenic Elderwood National Park. Fishing in the crystal clear waters of Bright Falls Dam. Bird watching at Majestic Mirror Peak. The tour of a lifetime is just one phone call away. Book now to get a 9% discount on this limited edition Oh Dear Diner Coffee Thermos. I, l I love this game. I love Remedy. So we share a morgue with the funeral home next door. It's a shoestring budget. I guess you guys don't have that problem, though. Our only coroner rotates between a few other towns and he's away this week, but you can handle this, right? I'm qualified to perform examinations. Yes. Oh, it's a little dark down here. <laughs> oh shit, she fucking tripped. Something about morgues. They all... Why is it so fucking dark? We don't have any goddamn lights. Okay, on let's take a look at outpatients. More U-line bins. I'll start with the external inspection before performing the internal examination. Damn! Look at that PP. What was the cause of death? What other clues can the body give me? Uh huh. They did leave something inside his chest. The body shows signs of being submerged in water post mortem. It doesn't add up. There's writing on here. Can't make it out. Writing? How'd they manage that? This looks like text. A tattoo? Nightingale didn't strike me as a tattoo guy. 
defensive wounds. He put up a fight. Time to see what Nightingale's body can tell us. Text is smudged. Looks inverted. Heart can't have been marked before removal. There's definitely something in his chest. Did the killers leave it there? No gloves? Oh my god. And she just... that's... It's the same type of page we found at Cauldron Lake. That's a pretty fucking gross saga. Nightingale hunted saga. Didn't see her. The Taken could not see into bright light. Light hurt them, made them vulnerable. Nightingale had no heart, but here he was, killing. Someone's created a fucked up fantasy about us. Hey, hold on. We found these kinds of pages. I didn't think they were relevant to this case. I have them right here. Patrick looking for some more uh, energy drinks. He can't see me in the light. My gun's out in the hall. Gotta get it back. Gotta move. Now. Here I go. And we're going to listen to the song because it's fucking good.
He didn't have a heart, but he still got up. The page predicted all of it. Saga was back at Cauldron Lake. Saga had to pursue Nightingale into the overlap. Finding a way in would be difficult. A ritual. Saga would learn how. Stop the monster. The autopsy room was a mess, like a bomb had gone off. Nightingale hunted Saga, didn't see her under the light lurched past her. The Taken could not see into bright light. The light hurt them. Hurt the darkness in them. Made them vulnerable. I flick the switch. It goes click. Show me the clicker. Lights are off, but somebody's home. Hemingway brought you here, witch. Get out of my house! Nightingale shouted. A wave of terror crashed through Saga's head. The awful truth. Nightingale had no heart in his chest, but here he was. Killing. A monster. The world had lurched out of balance. You found yourself trapped on the far side of the mirror. Right before things got crazy, Sheriff Breaker just vanished. Maybe the Sheriff knew more than he was letting on. Hmm. He seemed anxious, like he dreaded what was coming. One more mystery. There is no rational explanation to what we just saw. I'd love to blame this on mass hallucination caused by inhaling volcanic gas, but we both know that's bullshit. This was supernatural. Well, I'm glad you were the one to say it. Now we can figure out a way forward. The victim of a ritualistic murder turns into a monster. Is there a connection? Looks to me like the cult of the tree is performing rituals to create monsters. Hmm, maybe. We need to start with learning this cult's goal, their purpose. A dead man turned into a monster. Light as a way to fight him. Pages predicting the future. There's no rational explanation. This is the case we must solve. Page places Nightingale back at Cauldron Lake. Calls him a Taken. We need to head over there, stop him, before anyone else gets hurt. Okay. I thought I'm supposed to get all my. Hang on. Got it. We we heard gunshots. Y'all okay? Did you get spooked by the bodies? Sheriff Breaker disappeared. There's a dead Nightingale person. turned into some sort of a monster, and there are offices down. 
You two handle things here. We need to get back to Cauldron Lake immediately. Fuck me. That's terrible. We'll do what we can, man. I don't trust these two guys. They're fucking idiots. Whose reaction to that is, oh my. That's crazy, right, Thornton? I think Gail's heart was missing. How could he do anything? He's dead. Yeah, right. Well, that's all crazy talk. Monsters aren't real, and what do you mean the, the sheriff disappeared? Huh? Mm, they're a fine pair. What's he doing? There's nothing even on screen. My client has been held here long enough. Are you gonna let me speak to them or not? Uh, just a moment, ma'am. Someone will be right with you. Hmm. It's not opening. How many times do we have to do this, Walter? Huh? I'm at my wit's I end. I want out! Something bad's going down! I can feel it! Let me out! Do you think I like throwing you in jail every other day? No, I don't. Do you have any idea? Nightingale and his cult are dangerous. We need to be prepared in case things escalate more than they already have. Can you call it in, Kissy? Mark Joy Sanderson. Yeah, Agent Casey here. Yeah. We need backup. The Bright Falls case. Whoever you can spare. ASAP. This is the same symbol as that cult necklace. Not exactly hiding in the shadows, are they? Think we'll actually find Nightingale at the lake? The pages haven't been wrong yet. We can't assume the person writing these pages isn't playing us. I agree. But it's our best lead. <sighs> Rinse and repeat. Clock out, get a beat. So what's good here? Hey, how's it going? A bit of a booty. Well, uh, the rest of <clears throat> <clears throat> Like, are they just busted in the rooms? Forget where I'm going. <clears throat> hmm. It's so dark everywhere. Golly. Good. I can't get through this. I'm looking for a room with a shoebox, I think. It was in here, I thought. Oh, that's right, it's in here, but it won't it's open. Locked. Does this room look familiar? Well, fuck. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, 
I need to come clean, Anderson. I know why Nightingale was here 13 years ago. He was chasing a writer, Alan Wake. Tammy mentioned him. She's writing a book on his disappearance. You know the detective character from his books, Alex Casey. Yeah, I've heard the jokes at the office. Cold Case Casey. Murder Case Casey. <laughs> Sorry. Ha uh ha. -huh. It's the same name, similar job. It's the first thing anyone thinks of. It annoyed me, but that was it. Oh, then, ten Mama years Mia. ago, strange yeah. letters in the mail. Fragments of prose describing murders. You've heard the stories about what happened in New York. Some of it, at least. Bodies started to pile up. It was a murder cult. Turns Alan out the Wake. fragments sent to me were from the crime books of Alan Died Wake. Theodore. The cult was copycatting the murders from the books. In their heads, they were performing a ritual to bring Wake back. Their imagined prophet. After that case, I started looking into Wake's disappearance on the side. And you thought this case might be connected to him? His name does keep popping up. I just wanted you to have all the facts. Next time, give them to me before we find ourselves in the middle of a horror story. Yeah, Casey. What the fuck? I want a motorcycle. Not that one, though. The page says Nightingale's in something called an overlap. Need to figure out exactly what that means. I'm happy I'm not in charge of this mess. Thanks. Let's start looking for Nightingale where he was killed. The writer of these pages knows what will happen. Because they're behind this. Or because they can see what's coming. Impossible things are happening here. A world operating on different rules. I need to understand this strange logic. To see the clues. To solve the case. Hey, hello there. How are you folks doing? Those restricted areas. Hello. Signs. Saga Anderson. Are you two supposed to be here? I'm Ilmo Koskela. Fantastic to meet you. And yes, Stephen here hired me to show him through the woods. He's in town on important government business. Fixing this impressive piece of hardware. I work for the FBC, ma'am. FBC? I'm authorized to be here. And I bet you two are here about that murder. Nasty stuff. How's it going? How did you hear about the murder, Ilmo? Do you know anything that could help us? People tend to tell me things. The Koskala brothers are kind of a household name around here. Speaking of, uh, if you're looking for some fun, stop by Watery. Just down the road from Bright Falls, there's our Coffee World Amusement Park. There's Sauna, Sauna de Vista. <laughs> and we offer a variety of guided tours, hunting, fishing, hiking, whatever strikes your fancy. You name it, we probably got it. Thank you. Oh. What is this thing? It's just a monitoring station, ma'am. The Federal Bureau of Control checks volcanic activity and air toxicity levels. No need to worry, though. It's mostly for research purposes. That's one gorgeous wetter saga. <laughs> Looks Nordic. I bet a family member made it. My mother made this sweater for me. How do you know? I knew it. My mom used to knit those sweaters for me and my brother. Watery, my hometown, was founded by Finnish immigrants. So between your name and the sweater, I figured your family might be from Finland too. Suomi, Finland. Ulla, Karjalanpiira. <laughs> Close. My mom's family is from Sweden originally. I don't know much about them beyond that. The sweater is just something to remember her by. Stephen, we're investigating a murder that occurred nearby. What can you tell me about your bureau? Nothing that isn't classified, I'm afraid. But I don't know anything about a murder. Operations here are run by a different department. I'm just here to make some repairs. The wiring on this thing frays every couple months. Yep, that's the raccoons. 
They grow real big here with teeth like you wouldn't believe. Can nor run right through a garbage can. Okay, we're done for now. So yeah, when you go in here, it's talking about AWEs, I think. Okay, not yet. But the station changes over the course of the game. I, it's, Let's get to the I murder side, it. Casey. A lot of things about this case keep bothering me. But one thing feels really off. Breaker's disappearance. I don't get the feeling Nightingale was responsible. Hmm. He was about to give you more of those pages. Something didn't want us to have them? Or was protecting him from Nightingale? I'm in his confession, I don't know. Not the kind of disappearance we normally solve. Our crime scene's drowning. I never mind it rain. It feels like home. No sign of Nightingale. But the page did place him at Cauldron Lake in an overlap. So how do we follow him there? Maybe something around here will tell us. Monsters? Overlaps? Rituals? What do you make of all of this? Hmm. The killers are usually the ones performing the ritual, not the detective. Acting out their sick fantasy. They may be trying to get you involved, forcing you into their twisted world. But with dead men coming alive, the word ritual starts to have more weight behind it. We need to look around, learn what this ritual is. After we find Nightingale, what then? I've never arrested a monster. I've watched you arrest plenty of monsters, Anderson. You know what I mean. Monster monsters. Light worked against him at the morgue. That might be the only way to stop him from hurting anyone else. Bare feet. Not Bare feet. Jail. I'll see where these footprints lead. Can you come through the crime scene one more time, KC? Just in case. On it. If anything comes up, I'll radio you. Just in Casey. Just kidding. Sorry. Gosh darn it. The tracks lead into the water. Where'd you go from here? I can feel something. Dude, goddamn presence. Those fucking gale isn't far. Fucking jump scares. I know Nightingale is somewhere around Cauldron Lake. The tree was a threshold. This place and the dark place. <laughs> You're in over your head. Next stop, Caldera Street Station. The threshold, like a doorway, leading to Nightingale. It's somehow connected to a tree, which is ladle. Alrighty, read this shit. What is that? 
Seems like it's... These aren't the same tracks that were here before. They're headed into the tree, not out of it. My flashlight burned the dark stuff away. The fuse was in place. Saga stepped into the witch's hut. Inside, a bright light. There were objects that stood out to Saga, as if the light had manifested them. The witch's hut. Okay. I trust the pages to lead me to the overlap. The fuse was in place. She found it among the junk in the forest. Saga stepped inside the witch's hut. Something rushed through her. A presence. Familiar. She couldn't quite place it. Something long forgotten. She tried to hold on to it, but it was already gone. Inside, a bright light. Saga felt safe, like nothing could hurt her here. There were objects that stood out to Saga as if the light had manifested them, pulled them from the darkness. A shift in reality, heavy with hidden meanings. A coffee thermos, a shoebox, shoe a box. mop and a bucket, a poster on the wall, and in the cabinet, another manuscript page. Okay, here I go. This is the witch's hut. Anderson, I thought I saw something in the woods. Probably just a deer, but I'm gonna check it out. Okay. I found another page. Following up on a list. This fuse is busted. This one looks good. People should really stop littering, though. Leaving the U-line bins everywhere. Woohoo! Yes, sir. Give me that. Give me that. Give me this. Give me. Let's go. Another page. Making progress. Drink some coffee to save. The writer of the first word, not the writer of the last. With the terror of the light and the shadow cast. The third eye now open to project the night. This is the moment to write. This is the ritual to lead you on. Your friends will meet him when you are gone. Oh, okay. I did that. Oh. The image of the witch in the sign. Saga addressed the witch. The smudged line on the heart. The second part recited from memory. I brought you the heart, witch. Show me the terror. Saga pushed the heart through the hole in the sign. Witch's ladle. Towering over Saga. Watching her and the witch. The image of the witch in the sign. Nightingale's heart, a cold, dead lump in her hand. Her definition of sanity had changed since she arrived in this town. But she trusted the pages. Was forced to. Saga addressed the witch. She squinted to read the first part of the ritual words. The smudged line on the heart. The second part recited from memory. 
the word she had read on the page. I brought you the Heart Witch. Show me the terror. Saga pushed the heart through the hole in the sign. This was the key. The tree was the threshold. Sorry, folks. <sighs> Figured all this out already. So this goes here, and that goes there. The page from the witch's hut seems to be describing some kind of ritual. Nightingale's heart disappeared from the morgue. Where is it now? To get into the overlap, I need to find Nightingale's heart. Read the line imprinted on it, plus the line on the page to the witch's ladle sign. Then push the heart through the hole in the sign. are usually the ones performing the ritual, not the detective. Acting out their sick fantasy. They may be trying to get you involved, forcing you into their twisted world. Okay, okay. Nightingale's heart to get to the overlap. Where is it? Just leaned close. He was there, but he was risen. Nightingale was there. The opposite of sunspots. Who said that? That's not it. I don't have what I need to find Nightingale's heart. There must be more. Nightingale's heart. Where is it? Wow. They played cards in the general store. The witch had stolen his heart. Get out of my house. Nightingale's heart is at the general store, in a fridge. I need to check the general store for the heart. Casey, I'm headed to the general store. I think I know how to get into the overlap. Roger that. I followed some ATV tracks in the woods and got been turned around. Did you get lost? I've only been lost once in my life, Anderson. The years I spent with my ex-wife. I'll find my way back, don't you worry about it.
Lost. Saga edged toward the broken door, her gun ready, flashlight aimed ahead. Nightingale said it would be here. The Cauldron Lake General Store was overgrown, left to rot. Saga thought about the cult of the tree. They'd been here, waiting, planning a gruesome ritual murder. Meanwhile, they played cards in the general store, like it was just another late-night poker game. Saga stepped closer to the door. Had the animal broken it? There was a loud crash. Saga found herself face to face with a cultist. A hulking figure in a raincoat. We watch in the night. Wild eyes behind a plastic deer mask. An axe in his raised hand. The text on the heart is clearer now. Legible. I feel like I recognize this. The fridge. The heart. I knew it would be here. Like I saw it in a dream. And now I need to give the heart to the witch. Makes total sense. Casey, there are cultists in the area. They're taken, like Nightingale. Watch yourself out there. Yeah, thanks for the heads up. I'm still finding my way back. You have the worst sense of direction. <laughs> Any city in America I can get through drunk and blindfolded. It's these damn trees. Okay, okay. I'm en route to Witch's Ladle. I need to perform a ritual to open the overlap. Saga bent down to inspect the body on the table. Somehow it felt familiar. The straps, the heart, the mutilated corpse laying on the rain-soaked wood. Like deja vu. Oh. She chased the source of the feeling. Found nothing. None of the victims from her past cases resembled this one. It didn't feel like anything from her past. More like something from a dream. From a life she could barely remember. Maybe one that wasn't even hers. Then the feeling passed. Like a shadow in the trees shifting with the wind. Saga blinked. Shook the feeling from her head. She turned her focus back on the work. There was a lot to do. Casing the deputy were watching her. She had a feeling this would be an exciting case. Wow. Weird. So that is... So that is... This is a page that's brand new so like because this is new game plus and the ending of the first game is like it's not a it's not a loop it's a spiral so it's like a whole like we're going through the motions again and this is a new manuscript page that was not in the first playthrough whoa I like it Hey, it 
that. That's close enough, okay. Whoop. That's the lady from uh, Alan Wake 1. The wave crashed on the far side of the mirror. I brought you the heart witch. Show me the terror. in the overlap. Are you still on your way? Casey! Casey, do you read me? Mom. Logan? Mom, help. Logan! Where are you? What the fuck was that? Logan's back in Virginia. You're imagining things. Virginia? What was that? Wait. Did I get turned around? No, this is right. This place is looping. Like a nightmare. The writer went into the lake. Banished the dark presence. Taken still lurked in the woods. The dark place receded. The current pulled back those with darkness inside. Into the lake. Nightingale was there. One of them. The Dark Presence. Jagger had taken him. The Witch had stolen his heart. They sank beneath the waves. The Dark Place. Wandering in the shadows. Muttering to themselves. It's dark. I'm lost. Where am I? Who am I? I can't remember. It's cold. Premium cabins for rent in Bright Falls. Who said that? Can you hear me? I need help. Please, stop this. What did I do? You must dig it out. Their shape shifted. Echoes of the writer's dreams. Fading in, fading out. The next story and the story after that. The writer was writing again. I feel like that was new as well, but not sure.
let me tell you, the first time I did that, it took me so many tries, because I shot him a couple times, and he went down twice, and then I was like, am I just supposed to keep running away from him? So I just kept trying to run away. Who are you? For like 20 minutes. What is this? Who oh. are you? And finally I was like, okay, well fuck it. You hear me? So I just kept shooting I'm him over and over, and then he finally died. I was like, oh my god. I can hear you. Cauldron Lake. Yes. I'm at Cauldron Lake. Where are you? I'm not to escape. In danger. The dark presence. Danger. Thanks. Got it. Are you okay? Oh, no! It's my fault! They got out with my face! Scratch! Sir, calm down. I'm gonna need you to take a breath. He's... he's changed the story. The, the dark presence. We must stop it before... Easy now. First things first. What's your name? My name is Alan Wake. I'm a writer. I, I've been... Wake? Where did you come from? You've been missing for 13 years. 13? Try to give every uh, song a chance. That one's not for me. Anders, where did you go? All of a sudden, the radio stopped working, and then that flooding just disappeared. Crazy forest. Is this who I think it is? Casey, say hello to Alan Wake. Mr. Wake, this is Special Agent Alex Casey. He'll escort you to our car. Casey, I'll meet you there right after I take a look around. If the flooding's receded, there might be evidence we missed earlier. Okay. See you there. Alex Casey? How? Am I still... Is this the dark place? No, it can't be. I got out. Yeah, the P.I. from your books has the same name as me. Great. Moving on. Should look around. With the flooding gone, could be further clues out there. The flooding disappeared very suddenly. I wonder if there's any connection to the overlap I thought to I'd Nightingale. Place again. Take your time, but you should know these woods aren't the safest. Yeah. A locked box. Is that the cult of the tree symbol on it? Notes and ammo. 
Looks like they're tools of the trade. The cult doesn't see their victims as people. He'd been on the trail of the writer forever. The writer he despised. Hemingway, Bukowski, Wake. I'll get you. I'll find you. I'll make you pay. You're in over your head. He descended into the tunnels, from the dark city, into the ocean of darkness. Next stop, Caldera Street Station. Something, a presence, rumbled. Not a train. Shadows shifted on the platform. The writer's cult waited for him there. The cult of the word. A cultist leaned close. I carry his words close to my chest now. You're not allowed in the lake until he says otherwise. He'd be caught. Murdered. They got him. They didn't get him. He was reborn out of hate. He was there. But he was risen. Sent to find the light switch up from the lake that was not the lake. fucking guy. Even the animals are turning into monsters. God, I love this shotgun. I think this is the way to the not sheriff station, but there's something written here. A poem? I or did a these during Reminds the, me of the nursery rhymes I read to Logan when she was little. During my original playthrough, but it's like I don't know. I mean it's not that it's not worth it. It's like Croy. I just don't get anything from doing them, so it's like... I already did them all the first time. And you don't really get much from doing them. We've reached the car, Anderson. How's it going down there? I think I'm done here. I'll meet you at the parking lot. Another one of those but rhymes. Basically... I've been thinking more about the cult of the tree. Oh, I'll show you. What sort of cult? refers to themselves as a cult. Like another one of these things you can pet? They don't. We're not seeing the full picture yet. 
Rest easy, buddy. Um, but basically, the FBC, Federal Bureau of... Con God damn, that kind of scared the shit out of me. Um, the Federal Bureau of Control realized that this place is like... Something's going on. And specifically with Alan Wake, what he's able to do is like, he writes things down. I think it explains it here. Um, yeah, research into the reality altering effects, discovering the cauldron like area, utilizing fiction as an art source, and then manifesting the results into existence. Essentially, what they're doing is like they'll write a poem, and you have like a little other dolls. Um, and basically, weird souvenir for Logan. you are trying to alter the world with art, and specifically with childish poems. They're trying to. The fuck? Oh, that thing. What the fuck? They're trying to. Um, what was that? See if, like, you write a poem in this area, if that will then change the world around it, and it does. And the rewards you get for doing it aren't. I mean, it's not bad, but I'm just. I'm not gonna. Not wasting my time. An overlap of the dark place needed a push from both directions to manifest itself. Reality in our world eroded by repeated dark lore tied to a location and a counterpoint. A work of art, a horror narrative crafted in the depths of the dark place, connecting to the story on the other side to reach out through the weakened veil. A story of a lawman whose heart was cut out of his chest. Two corrupt men killed by their own twisted ambition. A haunted old woman drowned in a bathtub. Twisted reflections on the other side of the mirror. Arcs stabbing through realities, amplifying the influence of the dark place. These elements working in conjunction made a trickle that became a torrent, a wormhole, a vortex. And the art, the map, became the nightmare territory where the dark place encroached on our reality. A blanket over it, where they all overlapped causing reality to twist and loop like a bad dream, remolding anything and anyone within its dark horror design. Hmm, that's new too. And I'm sure not having played the game the first time, you're probably like, what the fuck are they talking about? And don't worry, um, even if you had played it the first time, or if this was your first time playing it without these, you would still be very confused. I'm still kind of confused. Okay, never mind. Oh, I wonder if... No. And what's different about this game... Oh, hey, look at that. Let me show you what this crossbow can do, baby. He's all ka-choink. He's all ka-choink. Oh. There. What I love about it is you get the bolts back. As long as you, like, kill somebody, that is. Let's see here. What do I got? I don't... I don't need this shit. Need that though. I do need that. Look at that. I only had two shots. Now I got three. Yes, sir. A little, little rocks. Okay. Anyway, I forgot what I was talking about. But um, oh, I was gonna say, in Alan Wake One. There were so many enemies all of the time, and it was more like run and gun. Whereas this game, it's like not as many enemies, but it's a lot more intense, and they take a couple more hits to take down. Which I think I prefer this better. This is more like a horror, like Resident Evil style. Oh, 
This carving looks fresh. Oh yeah, okay, so. Now that this whole thing is going crazy. Warning. Activity detected. A W E. An altered event world in progress. Event. Cauldron Lake. What's an A W E? I just told you it's an altered Casey, world event. Casey, what exactly does the FBC do? <sighs> After New York, when I started looking for our friend here, their name came up. I pushed them for any files they had on him, but got stonewalled. They have a reputation of showing up for weird shit. They have a presence here, and now we find our writer. How about that? And in Control, which I'm actually kind of replaying on the side, when I, um, like, and the, one of the DLCs, Alan Wake gets brought. Like, it's almost like they predict this go? game happening. Pretty uh, nifty. I mean, you don't need to have played Wade. control, but. It We're helps taking you back sure. to our field office in Bright Falls. You can freshen up there, and then we'll talk properly. Hey, Mom. Before you say anything, I'm totally fine. Don't freak out. Dad shouldn't have even texted you. Logan? No one texted me. What's going on? I'm totally fine. I slipped. That's all. God, it's not the end of the world. Put your father on the phone. Um, okay. Dad, it's Mom. Don't worry, hun. Logan slipped in the shower and bumped her head. She has a slight concussion, but I'm keeping an eye on her. Lucky I heard her fall. She could have drowned. Jesus, David. Why didn't you call? I tried. It didn't go through. She's fine, really. But what about you? You sound stressed. No, it's a... Uh, just a weird case, that's all. Yeah, well, it's a little weird. If you need a hint, my years of board game victories tell me Colonel Mustard did it. <laughs> I'll, I'll keep an eye out for him. Not gonna lie, that guy kind of annoys me. Love you, Dave. Love you too, honey. Want to say bye to Logan? Just tell her I love her. Bye for now. you'd like us to reach out to, Mr. Wake? You've been gone a long time. No. No. If they'd be in danger, it'll come for me. Okay. Let's talk about something else. Robert Nightingale. Do you know him? You were both here in 2010. The Dark Presence got him back then. That's the last time I saw him. Thirteen years. Hey. Tell us about the pages. You had what looks like a title page with you. Return. Is this the name of the story on these pages? The writer's name has been scratched out pretty violently. But your name can still be made out underneath. <laughs> scratched out. Yeah. Scratch. Did you write these pages, Mr. Wake? I'm trying to remember. It's, it's, it's a crazy jumble, like, a, like a nightmare. I, it doesn't, it doesn't make sense.
I remember. I remember. with no memory of how I got there. It was out of control. I didn't need another mugshot in the fucking tabloids. Had I already done the show? Was that a recording? to see you, Alan. Uh, uh, this must be an exciting time for you. Tell me, does it ever get old? Sorry, does what get old? Publishing a new book. Are you okay there, my friend? You look like you've been cooped up in the writer's room for a few too many years. <laughs> this is exactly how I feel. <laughs> you know, I've waited so long to get my hands on the sequel to Departure. You left us on quite the cliffhanger. We've all been dying to know what it's not a lake, it's an ocean really means. You and me both. Well, our wait is over. Your new book, Initiation, hits the shelves tomorrow. What? That's exactly what every reader will be asking. This book is mind-bending. It's so cerebral. I mean, how would you describe it? A an auto-fictional thought experiment? A, a, a horror story? A postmodern detective story? Wait. This isn't right. I, I haven't written anything. He's so humble. Okay. You got me. Good prank. Very funny. But yeah, I sad to say, I, I, I've not written this. I, I'd remember if I'd written a book, right? Or maybe it was written by your evil double. Well played, man! That is spot on! Playing the role here! Pretending the world of the book overlaps our own? That's very meta indeed. You see, Initiation tells the story of a fictional writer named Alan Wake, who is trapped in a nightmare, desperately trying to find the manuscript of a novel he has forgotten he has written. The book is set in New York, but it might not be New York at all. He is tormented by his dark doppelganger, and guided by visions of a fictional detective he has written. That's right, Alex Casey is in this book as well. Uh, I guess we'll just keep doing this the whole show. The joke's on me. But isn't that what you sign up for with autofiction? No, but seriously, I found the, uh, the structure of the reality you build in the book fascinating. It reminded me of The Matrix. I mean, the writer is physically in his writer's room, trapped there, and he projects himself out to this dark dream of New York through the story he is writing. Uh, like astral projection. Did I get that right? Yeah, that's exactly right. Go on. I should be taking notes here. Uh, this is great stuff. Notes to that other Alan Wake in that room writing this as we speak? Are we all in your story, Alan? I would watch a fucking TV show about this shit. No, I, I, I wish you every success with your 
new book, Alan. I hope it's as successful as your best-selling Alex Casey series. Initiation hits the shelves tomorrow. After this, I'm sure we'll all be eagerly awaiting the culmination of this hero's journey trilogy of yours. A book called Return, perhaps. <laughs> Man, thank you for one of the strangest interviews of my entire career, Alan. All this talk of meta narratives. I'm expecting to disappear once this scene ends. <laughs> This game is wild. This Hello? game is wild, wild, wild. I'm losing it. Something's not right here. I needed to get home to Alice. What the hell was that interview? Hey, look. Flyer Some system. kind of joke? Initiation? I never wrote a book called Initiation. This felt like a bad dream. Could make a good horror story. Where's the light board? Gods of Asgard. That name sounded familiar. I was a mess. I had never heard of this talk show or Mr. Door before. None of it felt right. Was I losing my mind? drowning man gasping for air this place felt familiar a ghost of a memory surfaced about riding here for countless days a plot board for mapping out a story on the index cards the nightmare that just happened to me a summary of the story so far but other notes as well warnings 
I had written them. I couldn't remember what it all meant. The name Scratch filled me with dread. I could trust these words. I had to act on them. You must write to escape. could manifest as reality in this dark place. I'd use my writing to project myself out of this room, like a deep sea diver to go deeper and explore the depths of this prison for a way out. This room was my boat. Writing was my lifeline. I would start again at the talk show. we have Alan Wake here, the best-selling writer of the books the films are based on. Let's do this! Welcome back to the show. So, Alan, as the uh, creator of the character, how do you feel about this? Sorry, what? I know it can be an awkward question with the man sitting right next to you, but I mean, how do you feel about him in the role of Casey? Does he look the part to you? Uh, he looks exactly like I always imagined Casey to be. It's uncanny. Thank you. That means so much to me. I'm a huge fan of your books. So, uh, what's the problem, Alan? Because. On more than one occasion, you voiced your reservations about the adaptations. Uh, it's not that. They're their own thing. They've gone with choices that are different from mine. I, I, I feel protective about my stories, and these adaptations... I, I don't know. I, I guess I just wish I could have been more involved in making them. Well, in that case, you won't have seen this either. We have a clip from the new film, Murder Case Casey. Should we roll it, or do you want to say something first, Sam? Nah, just roll it. This city was an old scar that refused to heal. The rain made it fester. It needed the sun, but there was only the night. I was tired. Insomnia covered me like a plastic film. I was watching the world through a rain-slick window, my own reflection haunting the view. I was trying to track down a missing writer. My only clue was a table lamp shaped like an angel, the only thing that shed light on this sordid mystery. Murder Case Casey. Great job, Sam. Very exciting and very meta. I'm looking forward to seeing more. Wait, stop. What was that about a writer? About a lamp? making perfect sense, right?
Hello? Ah, Lord Aid. There you are, Tom. Oh, not so much evil that not a bit of good as well. Not one without the other. <laughs> good to see you. Hey, I, I can't seem to find my way out of here. Can you point me to the exit? <laughs> not not the hell of it is. Of course, Tom. The work will instruct its maker. I was gonna get something from the basement for you, but you can get it yourself now. Uh, the more cooks, the worse the soup. <laughs> Have we met before? Are you trapped in the dark place too? You remember Ahti, the janitor? You can't be lost if you don't worry about where you are headed. So don't worry, Tom. The sun will shine even into a heap of twigs. Just remember to turn on the lights. It won't take long when you get to work. What do you want me to get from the basement? A and my name's Alan, not Tom. Yeah, yeah, but I got a bag of man's. A man, but a man with a tool makes two, Tom. Egane. <laughs> and a man with a tool can build his own exit. It's in a shoebox. In the basement where you left it. <laughs> Safe as in the Lord's purse. Here's the key. I've been trying to find a way to escape the dark place. Any suggestions? He who mouths about his troubles is the prisoner of his troubles. It's not easy to get out. But don't you worry, Tom. The home is still there where the heart is. I often think about it when I mop the floor and look into the puddle. Water is the memory of the world. Water finds its way. The janitor was a bit out there, but still a friendly face. I had to trust the basement would get me out of here. So this janitor is in the game Control, and he's a pretty big part of the game, um, and at the very end of the game he's talking about how he's going to go on vacation, which is where you see him now. Don't really know what he is, um, I just have more questions than answers with him, but it's pretty crazy that he's in this game in this way after having been in control who's taking a shit lamp and a shoebox. Was this what the janitor had left for me? The lamp felt significant. A tool for bringing light to the darkness. I felt a magnetic pull between the lamp and the light overhead. Whoa! When the light jumped into my lamp, the whole room changed. 
like something in a dream. Opening a way forward, the lamp was humming. The bulb glowed. It held the light now. The glow in the lamp went out, shifting the light in the room. The light carved out something new from the darkness. wants to drown me. I'm losing myself. I have to fight it. I have to remember the clicker, the light switch. I lost it, but I have the lamp now. The lamp the switch was cut from. This place is a nightmare. Not real and yet more real than anything. The danger and the horror are real. It feeds off my mind, twisting whatever it takes into psychotic reality. I'm trapped here. I write to escape. I've tried this many times, written countless stories, forgotten how many. I keep failing, but I must keep trying. I use the story to dive deeper. Every word I write is a step forward on this spiral of the darkness. I dive to the body to find the answer, the, the map, the key, the compass that's combined to form a door leading out. But how do you open a door that's not a door? At the bottom of an ocean that's not an ocean and a lake? That's not like. phone was ringing. Somehow I knew the call was for me. Hello? Hello, Wake? Yes. Do you know who I am? No. Who is this? We'll get to that later. There are spies all over. Shadows. A sense of deja vu washed over me. Had I had this conversation before? Helen, listen to me carefully. Caldera Street Station, the subway. You need to go there. I'll call you again later. Make sure to pick up. Do I know you? I, I know you from somewhere. You've just forgotten again. We're in this together. Don't worry. I got it now. We've been working. Great. I I'm losing you. Hello? Hello? The man had said Caldera Street Station. I had to go there.
Caldera Street station sign was there, but the entrance was missing. I had to make it appear. Maybe I could use the lamp to reveal the station entrance. on the page. What the hell? Oh, hey. We met at Door's show. Alan Wake, the writer. I'm Alex Casey. I'm looking into a murder. Come on, what... What is this? There's a piece of evidence, a manuscript of a novel. You wouldn't know anything about it? A manuscript? What manuscript? I need to see it. Rumor had it the manuscript contained the details of the murders. A murder cult was following the story to commit their gruesome acts. Was Wake their leader? Had he written it? How far would he go to create a perfect work of art? Or would he be the next victim? was an echo of the books I had written for years. Picking up Casey's gun felt like I was assuming the role of the detective. I had a light now. I needed to get back to the subway station entrance. Shit. With the alley in darkness now, the rest of the shadows blocked my way. Damn, why can't I dodge? The shadows faded out. Until they didn't. They were trying to stop me. With the gun and flashlight, I could fight back. Use the light to open the subway entrance now.
I needed to find another light to go deeper inside. to wash away the sins of this city <laughs> but some sins the evidence of the crimes committed could never be erased not by the rain or any amount of therapy from dr jack daniels it remained bruises under my skin like tattoos bruises in my soul scar tissue on my heart the rain never stopped falling and I never stopped drinking. There was something hidden here, a phrase repeated over and over. 
The words resonated with meaning. Had I written this? What the fuck? You snuck up on me. Sorry. Have we met? Memory problems again, huh? Yeah, we've met. Tim Breaker. We've shared notes. Hey, I've made some progress on the map, if you want to take a look. I still haven't found my mystery man, though. Uh, the You're making a map. Hell? Trying to. It's hard to map a dream, though. I keep ending up in unexpected places. I find interesting things like those strange markings that react to the light, but never the one thing that I'm looking for. Feel free to check the map out. Oh, I've been stockpiling supplies while I poke around. If you find a stash, take anything you need. I appreciate the help. Who's this mystery man? Oh, it wouldn't be much of a mystery if I knew. All I have is a name. Warlandor. The talk show host? No. No, that doesn't sound like him. The guy has many disguises, but a talk show host? No. I'll keep looking. What the fuck? That's new. Unless I just straight up missed this the first time, but I don't <laughs> well, think so. Oh, that's my crazy wall. I'm just trying to make sense of things. Don't judge me. I'll trade you walls any day. That's new. I, uh, huh. Okay. See around, Alan. Well, now I gotta know. Hang on.
guess I just straight up missed that the first time. That's fucking crazy. Get out of my way. Get out of my way. second you let your guard down. You thought you had it tamed. That you knew what the hell you were doing. Your last mistake. Unless you got lucky. And you didn't deserve to get lucky. You blinked at the wrong time. Let your mind wander. And the fire escape that was meant to be your getaway route was gone. It was never there at all. You'd gotten turned around somewhere along the way. The city was coming to finish you off, and there was nowhere left to run. Hmm. Okay. Gates to the platform were closed. I had a ticket. Something about the station platform felt significant. It would work in my writing, but I needed more. Something lingered here. A half-forgotten memory. An echo. FBI agent had come here before me on the trail of a murder cult. He'd gone missing, presumed dead. The cult was leaving me clues to follow, connecting the dots from one murder to the next, inviting me to draw an obscene picture on the city map. Caldera Street Station. The name made me think of the exit wound of a bullet. I had a flash of inspiration. The ghost of my fictional detective. A story thread I could use in my writing. I had a location. I had a story thread. The dark place reacted to my story. The way into the tunnels was no longer blocked. It was locked from the other side.
The tracks led into the tunnel. That was my way forward. The blood trail continued deeper into darkness. The tunnels were a maze. The blood trail led me on. Another place to use in this story. I needed to search the tunnels for further visions. Inspiration for the story that would lead me. I changed the story. And a federal agent had come here looking for answers. Only for the reason of it. would to be on this case. The cult can get you anywhere with that black magic shit. Let the day shift handle it. What happened, anyway? Some fed came looking for the cult, but it was a trap. A satanic blood sacrifice. Anyone who gets involved with the cult, they're next. I heard their leader is this famous writer, Alan Wake. Their unholy motherfucking messiah. Sounds like a load of bull. of inspiration. beat for the story. Changing a plot element in a scene without being... What, what do you know? Word is your research... What word is your research can help me, ma'am. What do you know? There's more than one urban legend about the cult of the word. The murder cult used these tunnels for their ritual sacrifices. They say the cult reenacted the murders in Alan Wake's crime books. The Wake was even involved somehow under a false identity, Mr. Scratch, which is, of course, a nickname for the devil himself. It was disturbing finding myself in the story this way, but I was desperate, and it felt right to the story. Shit, 
shit, shit! the story and with that the dark place changed i could imagine this murder cult performing their macabre acts beyond the collapsed tunnel the cultists laid the casey novel onto the altar with reverence their twisted bible gone. The way forward was open. Rain blocked my way forward, but it was here for a reason. It had a role to play. I had a new scene to use, a new setting. The scene and heartbeat made sense together. down the torchbearers living in the tunnels. They lock the poor folks up in a derailed subway car, doused it in gasoline. Yeah. Charming. 
It turns into a bit of a ghost story after that. They say the dark smoke from the fire still roams the tunnel searching for new victims to devour. There are no happy endings in this city. The story thread felt important. I could use it in one of the scenes I'd found. could not be opened on the side. The subway car had become a burnt husk. I could get through it now. My path was blocked. I had to find a way through. The lights would help me.
The Echoing Hall had a story to tell. I had a new location for the story. Changes shaped the world around me. The hall had changed into the murder cult's hideout. Something here that made him run scared. Whether the summoning ritual had been a bona fide supernatural event or the mass psychosis of stark raving lunatics, it didn't change the facts. The cult was messing with things no one should mess with. The ritual was a vital part of the story, the key to reaching the murder site.
Outsiders with hidden knowledge. <laughs> Typical New York. No one wake. I couldn't hear the dark presence. It was gone. The tunnel was open now. I could get through. seen it before. I remembered now. It was always out there. Haunting me.
victim's heart was the key. Something had shifted. I felt an overwhelming closeness to home. An FBI agent? Who are you? What is this? Who are you? She can hear me. I'm Saga Anderson, FBI. This is Alan Wake. I'm trapped here. The dark place. Under Cauldron Lake. Not Cauldron Lake. Who are you? I'm trying to escape. I'm making progress, but I'm in danger. The dark presence. Help me. Please, help me. I could sense it. I was closer to home. Had the woman in the vision helped me somehow? Something had changed outside Parliament Tower, where I had lived with Alice. It was out there, waiting for me. Sorry, I'm uh, doing a work thing real quick.
Who was writing who? Who was writing this poem? Me? No. to something you had managed to forget. Marking you. Taking you for a ride. Making you crazier. Station had changed. I was closer now. from the DLC from Alan Wake. Parliament Tower, our home in New York. Was I really this close to being home? Going up to our apartment? Would I be home? Or was this just an echo of the real thing? Even then, the murder site had brought me one step closer to escape. The payphone at the edge of the plaza was ringing again. Hey, Alan. Thank God he picked up. I thought I lost you again. Who are you? Why are you helping me? Did you go deeper? To the overlap? Are you talking about the murder site? Yeah, I, I did. I, I... That's fantastic, Alan. We're closer to getting out. We're making progress. Well, we would be if you would answer my damn questions. Last time we spoke, you were pretty worried about Alice. Did you ever check Parliament Tower? To make sure she really got out of the dark place? Well, of course she got out. That's why I'm here. That's the whole goddamn point. Be very careful, Alan. The dark presence is stealing from you. It can already manifest as your double. Scratch will come. Wait, wait, hello?
writer. Maybe he was a victim. The cult, using his words. Or maybe he was the monster behind it all. Either way, Alice Wake, his ex, she knew things. It was there in her art for all to see. A cry for help. The darkness she'd witnessed. And that put her in danger. Was Alice here? In the story? Like a ray of warm light, I felt her presence. It gave me strength to go on. Glitzy Goblin. This is a photo of Scratch. How did Alice get this? Is he stalking her? This is the door to my study, where I wrote my books. This symbol wasn't here before. Alice's video camera. No memory card inside. Part one, what was Alice working on? years ago, I started hearing noises in the night. Typewriter keys clacking. Voices. Alan was back. Haunting me. Then 
and it got violent. It was Alan. And yet, it was a monster. He always did have anger in him. I set up cameras around the apartment with motion sensors and flashes. Now, when the monster comes, I turn it into art. My nightmares caught on film. And this is the focus of my new exhibition. To show people the world is so much darker than they ever knew. I'm calling this exhibit The Dark Place. Alice. Scratch was terrorizing her. Why? room and wrote a story, initiation, to project myself through the dark place to look for a way out. The story had brought me here, brought me nowhere, loop me back. I was writing this story, and in the story I now stepped into the writer's room. But there was no one here writing. Okay, let's recap what you've told us so far, Ellen. For the past 13 years, you've been trapped in a nightmare dimension called the Dark Place. Yeah. It's like New York, but it's not New York. And can be reached from the bottom of Cauldron Lake, but it's not really under the lake. And after all this time, you've managed to get out. Yeah, yeah. But so has your evil doppelganger. Mr. Scratch? Or is it the Dark Presence? Both. It's interchangeable. He's Scratch when he looks like me, but he can change into this other form. And Scratch, the Dark Presence, wants to rewrite the world in his own image. Which would be in your image, as he looks just like you. And turn the world into a fucking nightmare. During Deerfest, which is scheduled to take place in a couple of days. You got out of the dark place by writing a novel, the pages we've been finding but your double edited it into a horror story that's now changing reality, taking over people, yeah. making them crazy, bringing the dark place to Bright Falls. Yes, fiction coming in contact with the dark place can change reality. The story is coming true, soaking into everything, like, 
like like darkness when it when night falls but last time it... this will be back in 2010 yes last time it didn't happen all at once the story came true bit by bit as it unfolded and that dark presence was still bound to the lake I stopped it before it got the ending it wanted before it broke free based on that there's still time which brings us to your magical light switch. The clicker. Magical doesn't quite cover it. Scratch wants it to bring about his ending. That, that can't happen. If I can get the clicker, I, I can send him back to the dark place, make all this shit go away. I... Look, I know it's batshit crazy. My memory is it's full of holes and I... I'm not sure how much I can trust. It's like it's like it's like a half forgotten dream. Mr. Wake. Alan. We've seen our share of batshit crazy in the past 24 hours. What I want to know is, why am I? Why are we written into the story? I think I saw you. Or a vision of you in the dark place. I think you helped me reach out and escape somehow. With that in the story, Scratch would have edited it to get to you. To hurt you. We are all in danger. It's insane. And there's so much of it. Have you ever heard of the cult of the tree? Creepy bunch, in the habit of wearing deer masks, performing murder rituals, victims turning into monsters possessed by darkness, possibly inspired by a horror story written by a certain author. Hmm? Ring any bells? The cult. Yes. Yes. They have the clicker. If the cult has the clicker, does that make them scratch his followers? How are you so certain they even have the clicker? They could be working for Scratch. I, I don't remember. It's all confused. Alan, if I'm going to act on this information, you need to be honest with me. Yeah, of course. Is he confused? Or is he hiding something? chapter the next chapter the next chapter keep the pages safe the dark shining of the words wake is hiding pages that's how he knows the cult has the clicker wake has a double mr scratch where is he now a cloud of wrath where's my face the dark place in your place Scratching out my body of work. Scratch is here. In Washington. He's hunting Wake. Scratch looks just like Wake. Why? Don't wake up the dreamer if your life is a dream. I swam to the shore, but the water is rising. Wake and Scratch are clearly connected. Maybe Scratch got out because Wake did. Or vice versa.
Wake just gave us a lot of information. But this clicker seems like a good place to start. If we find that, then we find the cult. Don't need to go over all this again. Nightingale goes missing for 13 years, shows up murdered, and then turns into a monster. After I stop Nightingale, a rider who's also been missing for 13 years turns up. What's the connection? What kind of case is this? The pages we've been finding are from a horror story called Return, written by Alan Wake, and the contents of this book are coming true. Why couldn't it have been a romance? Right. Keep trying. Sure. Creepy dolls, mysterious rhymes, no weirder than anything else going on, I guess. Okay, Mr. Wig, I know you have more pages of the manuscript on you. You don't understand how vital these pages are. They're the only way I can know what's coming. You're not the only one trying to solve this. This is our job. Okay. Here. Now, this is all I have. Be careful with them. Inside the trailer, at the outskirts of Watery, Saga had seen Wake's fabled clicker for the first time, in the hands of the cult of the tree. A cultist stared at her. She drew her weapon. 
Standing inside the trailer at the outskirts of Watery, Saga had seen Wake's fabled clicker for the first time in the hands of the Cult of the Tray. Her mind reeled from what the horror story was now claiming about her, her life, her past. She didn't accept it. She stepped out of the trailer. She needed air, but she wasn't alone. A cultist stared at her from behind a deer mask. She drew a weapon, shouted, ran after him. The cult of the tree has the clicker Wake told me about. They're a part of all this. It's all on the page. The clicker, the cult. Okay, I'll head to Watery and find this trailer. Casey, you stay here and keep an eye on Mr. Wake. Got it. No, you need me there. No dice, pal. This is an FBI investigation, and I don't see a badge on that flannel. You wrote these pages in the dark place. So why are we finding them here? I think I wrote them. I remember writing an endless amount of pages. When this happened before, the, the pages were being sent from the dark place to help me. Maybe the same thing is happening here. That's all for now, Mr. Wake. Thank you for your cooperation. Hi, welcome. Okay. Past favorite deer fest floats. Go. The yarn puppet monstrosity. Hello, and welcome to Coffee World. Oh, watching the best. Is that marble ice? Trying to dodge the, some bees. Okay, I think I'm gonna get off of this game for just a little bit to stretch or get up and walk around or something. I'll be back. I'll be back. <laughs> 